In the previous video, we hooked up Alexa to our fireplace. It worked, but it was a little cumbersome. We used a microcontroller uh, and we used custom code. Today I'm going to show you how we can do it with off-the-shelf components and no custom code. Let's get started. Here's the parts we'll need for this build. First, we have a smart switch. This is a Wemo one, but any smart switch that works with Alexa or Google Home will do the job. Need a USB adapter, need a USB cord, and this is the micro USB kind. You'll need a micro USB breakout board, which we'll plug in there, and you'll need a little bit of foam tape to attach it all. And you'll need a five volt relay. You'll find links to all these parts below in the description. Female jumper wires, 12 inch length pair of wires, male spade terminals to connect to the fireplace switch. You'll want to cut three pieces of your jumper wire into three inch lengths. You'll want two of one color and one of another color. Strip all three ends of your jumper wires. Twist the light colored wires together and tin the ends of all the wires. Now we're going to solder these wires to our breakout board. First, put the pair of wires up through the bottom and solder that to VCC on the right. And then take the single wire and put that up through the bottom of the ground, the G and D. On the left. After you've soldered them in place, you can trim the ends. Apply your double-sided foam tape to the bottom of the breakout board and trim the excess. Attach the breakout board to the top of the 5 roll relay and make sure your USB port goes to the side of the relay and doesn't cover your screw terminals. Now attach the jumpers. The yellow one going from ground goes to negative on your relay, and the other two go to the other two terminals on your relay. The finished one should look like this. Put foam tape on the bottom of your relay board so it doesn't get shorted out. Now let's test it out. Plug everything in and attach the USB cable to your relay board. Now push the on off button on the Wemo switch and you should be able to hear the relay click and see the red light come on. Now let's make our wire that goes from the relay to the fireplace switch. First strip all four ends of the wire and then crimp your two spade connectors onto one end. Now attach the other two ends of the wire to the relay. On this relay, it's the left two screws as the screw terminals face you that we're going to use. Now let's install it. Trace the wires down from the wall switch to under the fireplace. It's these spade connectors where we will make our connection. Plug your Wemo switch into the outlet under your fireplace. Plug a USB adapter into that, then plug in your USB cord. Then plug your USB cord into the relay you just made. Attach the relay with the double-sided foam tape. And take the male spade connectors that we made and attach them into the female ends coming from the fireplace control unit. Now we're done. Here's our final product. Thanks for watching, and remember, all the links to the products used are in the description. Also, subscribe to my channel for similar how-to videos in the future.